All right, everybody, this is Ross the Fig Boss. In today's video, we're gonna talk about some of the reasons why you might actually wanna remove some figs off of your fig tree. And if you guys have been enjoying the content I've been creating over this, uh, this past year, you've been enjoying this fig season with me, please do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for me. It really helps out these videos that I've been creating. So if you see the figs here in front of you, I just would argue at this point, because they're so far in their development, they're quite large, and because they're probably like 30 to 45 days away from actually being ripe, I would argue it's a really bad idea at this point to remove them. I mean, there's just little benefit, I think, at this point. With this tree here that we're looking at, if I zoom out, this is actually an in-ground tree. And so a lot of the plantings that I've done recently this year, this is, uh, by the way, the east side of the property here where the Gumi is. We've got the apple trees in here, the grapevines back over there. Uh, this is where I've designated a new plot for fig trees. And it's slowly been expanding over time. Once this garden here, I start harvesting more and more from this space. Um, eventually this will all come out or be eaten at some point and fig trees will go in this space. Um, and so because I've been expanding this area and I've designated this area here for fig trees that have been planted in the ground, the main objective of any fig tree that's been planted in the ground is for it to grow, right? We want to have our figs get established in the ground, isn't it? I would rather have them put on some size, get really well established this season, and then maybe worry about fruit next year or the year even after that. And so if I have a variety like this fig here that we originally looked at and it's not really growing, well, the problem may actually be that, okay, well, of course, we just transplanted these in. We need to water them well. We also need to make sure there's mulch. As the temperatures in the soil get a bit warmer, the fig trees tend to slow down their growth or maybe even not grow at all. And so, and one way to actually help them continue growing while actually supporting, believe it or not, some fruits on these trees is to actually remove some fruits. Because one of the problems we may be seeing on young trees or trees that we just, we just really want them to get established is to just free up some of this energy. Every fruit requires a certain amount of energy from the fig tree. And so if we can think about the leaves as additions of energy and the fruits as subtractions of energy, well then we're gonna have at some point some mathematical calculation that's gonna give us either a positive number or let's say zero or even a negative number. And so this tree here in particular has a lot of fruits on it for the amount of leaves that it has. This variety here is called Salato for anyone that's interested. And the leaves you could see are just, they're also not really that large. So not only is there not as many numerous leaves, but the leaves are not exactly that big. And so the bigger they are, the more photosynthesis, right? The more leaves, the more photosynthesis. So again, we're trying to have more in the category of growing into that positive category towards an energy surplus, rather than having too many fruits on this tree, which would lead us to an energy deficit. So. That's a really great way to help these figs continue their growth and is probably the one main example that I would argue, sorry for the motorcycle, I would argue that you should actually remove figs. So in this particular situation here on the Salato tree, I have a number of fruits that have set and you know what? It's a pretty good amount of fruit. I don't think, um, obviously I could be greedy and try to get as many fruits off of this as possible. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna count the number of fruits on here. I got about roughly five, six on that branch, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Uh, so there's about maybe close to 20 fruits on this tree. It's young, it was in a, you know, a three gallon size pot. We planted it in the ground and we want it to get established. So I'm gonna take that number of about 20 fruits and I'm gonna probably reduce that by at least a, a third. So I'm gonna remove now 
even by the way, really, really small main crop fruit buds that really have not even formed into large figs just yet. They're not really that far into their development. So I'm just coming in there really close and removing super, super small buds. They're not even pea-sized just yet. There's another one, so that's three, four. Here's one that is about pea-sized. That's about six. There's another one, seven. And I think that's about, that's pretty good. So then I will reassess this tree in about a couple weeks. We just planted it for the most part, uh, but the rest of these trees here behind me, it's been raining a lot. There's definitely, it's not a problem with moisture, but certainly moisture is going to uh, allow these figs to grow even further and faster. That is the on or off switch of growth. So assuming we got water, which we're gonna have ample amounts, even in the coming forecast, and we remove these figs, the next thing to do is just reassess them. If they're not resuming growth, then we probably have to go even further and remove some more figs. Now, you could make the same argument, by the way, on some of the potted figs, not just the in-ground fig trees, but what if you have, in general, a fig, and I'm trying to get to one that I at least recall is rather unhealthy. By the way, check out these. Grease de St. Jean Brabas, man. Ooh, they are big. Let's just get a zoom in on that for just a second. Well, camera, there we go. They are just massive. I hope they taste as good as they look. Um, in any case, this tree back here is one in particular that I know I've been keeping an eye on. And this is a fig called uh, Negra Primarenca, which by the way, you can see the growth. It looks rather healthy, doesn't it? Um, but for some reason last year, and really this year, it's been struggling to grow much. And so because of that, uh, I actually decided to remove some figs when this tree was in the greenhouse. You know, if we rewind about a month and a half ago, that's where this fig was. And it was growing and it put, produced these figs here that you see. But a lot of the fruit buds in that greenhouse that had formed because it wasn't growing very well, I removed them. Now, of course, it has resumed growth and you can see many more leaves have formed since then. And the tree is looking a lot better. It's still not really where I want. I mean, look at the tree next to it, how much growth there is here. Look at the node spacing. This tree here, just in general, again, even though it looks like there's very little fig mosaic virus, it's just not doing as well as I'd like. So removing the figs definitely helped, but I may even come in here, like I said, when we looked at that Salato tree, and I'm gonna reassess and see if it is indeed worth removing some more figs because as the tree grows, assuming it's getting the sunlight requirement that it needs, it will actually indeed continue to produce fruit buds, which are right in here on this branch and I may indeed consider uh, removing those as well. So that is kind of the main reason there um, that I would remove them. Probably for any other reason I wouldn't because it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, obviously we're here to eat the fruits, um, but in certain situations, like I said, if the trees are not doing well, they're not healthy, they have a lot of sunburn, that's probably another good reason. Um, they are in some way stunted with their growth that, in my opinion, would, uh, would be the biggest and probably do it for me and actually in favor of removing some figs. So thank you guys for watching this one. Hit that like button for me. Hit that subscribe button for me. We'll see you guys for the next video. Take care.